Hi everyone, I'm Mariana from London. I hope you are all doing well. Let me share my top tips on how to overcome the challenges of this pandemic. Social distancing is key to stop spreading the virus, but it may make us feel isolated and frustrated. I can see the stickers and posters everywhere as a reminder, so I can't have a second of escape from the pressure. That's why I spend some time in parks every day and just enjoy nature. Taking a walk is such a blessing after a stressful day. It can divert my attention from all the hustle and bustle of extra work, online meetings and phone calls. Before COVID-19, grocery shopping after work was a great stress release for me. The colors of the crowded aisles made me switch off. Nowadays, even the busiest stores are kind of empty and only the stickers bump into me. But the lovely food path near my home always make me happy and relaxed. I kept my home and also work in area pretty hygienic even before this virus, but never ever had I so many sanitizers piled up before. I've always had liquid hand wash and wet tissues in my bag, but now I use hand sanitizers extensively and never leave the house without them. I want to make sure that I neither get nor spread the virus. In addition, I clean my hands thoroughly. It's such a simple thing to do for our health. I take my mini sanitizer with me, even to the parks. You may never know what you will touch on the way. Exploring your local area on your walks is such a bonus. I never knew such beautiful places existed nearby. I love these stairs, for example, and I come here quite often. Wearing a face mask is something new for me and was quite strange in the beginning, but I feel more protected if it's on. However, when I got frustrated with the usual disposable blue one, I ordered some cute, good quality, handmade cotton ones with filters. This way, I can protect the environment too. Being active and staying fit is absolutely necessary to boost your immune system. So when I had to work from home, and all the gyms were closed, I started to go for long walks every day. I planned different routes and also went to the outdoor playgrounds where I invented some fun activities to avoid boredom. Doing regular exercises outside also helped me be more cheerful and optimistic and overcome the challenges of the lockdown and separation from others. Spending more time outside also drew my attention to nature. I noticed tiny bits and bites I hadn't had the time for before. Observing the baby geese growing up, or some strange little green guy crawling on the pavement on the way home, or a gorgeous dragonfly visiting my garden has granted real pleasure and joy to me. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, our lives have changed quite a lot. The world has opened its doors through the internet. This term, I took my language classes online, so I didn't miss a thing. I could also enjoy some online cultural and theatre events on YouTube. On my walks, I could also think about what to eat. Although the restaurants were closed, I could still enjoy my favourite Korean meals as I prepare them at home. I loved experimenting with the ingredients and creating some fusion meals. While I was researching the recipes and hunting for the ingredients, my thoughts were totally immersed in the preparations. It was like taking yoga classes. So I highly recommend to prepare your favorite meals at home if you like cooking. As soon as it was safe enough, however, I met my friends at our favorite Bingsu place and had our favorite Bingsu stare as no one can beat their perfect creations. And finally, I had the chance to try the Dalgona latte. And last but not least, I think we all agree that having fun is essential. I try to cheer up my family and friends with funny messages and videos. I loved and laughed when I received something hilarious and jolly from them. 
Keeping ourselves in good spirits has helped us the most during this pandemic. And most importantly, we must never forget that although at the moment it seems that the branches and the wind try to hide the sun and things are complicated, but we just need to be a bit more patient, support each other at all times, because together we can overcome this virus and the sun will shine brightly again.